Hello, my friends, and welcome to another lesson with the divided beat frame. It's so divided, and that lets you do division. It's pretty awesome. This lesson is about short division, so division with one digit and its divisor. But we're going to use a method called what has been used. As we take away group after group, we're going to write down how much we took away from our dividend. You're going to need some use of your math facts, and you might even use some of those multiples as well to help with this. Well, what do we need? Uh, we need a divided bead frame. We need some graph paper to record on, a pencil, and a strip of paper for a divisor. However, I actually have this little bit left over from another lesson. and Maybe you remember that. I'm going to use this one. Oh, we do also need a problem. Let's go with 4,182 divided by 6. 4,182 with a divisor of 6. And it looks like that with that awesome tableau. Now, as we record our answers, with intermediate remainders, we recorded how much was left. This time, we're going to calculate how much was left, the intermediate remainders, by removing what we've used. Let's get into this and see what that looks like in action. I need to set up my dividend. There's two units, eight tens, 100, four thousands. And I need to write my divisor on this slip of paper. My divisor is six. Just like any division problem, we'll start with the largest category, the thousands, and we'll be recording to the thousands over here. Well, let's take away that first group of six. What are you waiting for? Oh, yes, there's not even a group of six there, is there? Oh, well then, of course, the answer is zero. We don't need to write anything down, and we can slide down to the next category. Taking away one and exchanging so we can take away two, three, four, five, six. There's one. One, two, three, four, five. Exchanging six. There's another group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another group. One, two, three. Exchanging four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another group of six out of there. One, exchanging, two, three, four, five, six, and stop. There's nowhere else we can go. We have five left. That would be our intermediate remainder. But we're going to calculate how much we used, and it's easy, I promise. Look at how much we did get out. Six groups of six. Pretty awesome, right? Do you know what six times six is? Basically, how much we just removed. 6, 12, 18, 36. How cool is that? So we actually took 36 out of this number, and that's actually what's left right there. Let's record our answer in the hundreds place. And below the number we were working with, and we worked with both of these categories, remember there was something left on here, we're going to write that number 36 under that. And what I mean is these two digits are what we started with, that 41. We're going to subtract 36, what we just used, from that. So 41 minus 36, what does that equal? Well, actually, it's right there. Just in case you weren't sure, it is 5. Our intermediate remainder was 5. Now, what I'd like you to do is drop that 8 down next to it because that's what we're working with next. And just in case you don't believe me, check it out. It's right there too. Are you ready? Because I am. We're going to slide and now take away 6. There's a group of 6 recording it. 1 and 2 exchanging 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wow, that worked out pretty nicely, but now we have to exchange to even start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, exchanging, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Another group of 6. There's 2, so we're going to exchange this time, and there's the rest of that 6. 
there's an entire six. Exchanging again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's as far as we can go. We were able to get nine groups out. That's pretty amazing, actually. But what is that? And it's going to give us that intermediate remainder when we subtract it from what we started with. Remember, we started with 58. We have nine groups we were able to pull out. Six times nine. Yes, exactly. 54. We're going to take 54 away from that 58. Now, something you may start to realize is that every number you take away will be a multiple of six, but how high can you go in any digit? Well, we just went there. Nine. So if you know the multiples up to nine of a number, this should be pretty good. What is our intermediate remainder? It is four. But just in case you weren't sure, you can check it here too. So if you have a five or a six or something else on your paper, hmm, something might have gone wrong. Let's move our last digit, that two. We're going to drop it down to that four, creating what looks like 42. And it's right there too. Let's start taking away. What's that? You know how many times six goes into 42. Don't spoil it for everybody else. Let's slide our digit down and begin. One, two, and exchanging. Three, four, five, six, and recording. One, two, three, four, five, six. Recording, exchanging. There's a group of six. There's a group of four. We'll exchange so we can get the rest of it out of there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another group gone. One and two. And exchanging three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. Wow, that worked out perfectly. There is absolutely nothing remaining, but we still have some math to finish up here. How many groups did you get? Seven, me too. Let's write that down and then let's figure out what we used, what we actually just subtracted. Now, do you remember what was there? We can actually look here, that's one way. We used all of that 42 up, but also we can think, what is 6 times 7? What is our divisor times the digit we just got? It's 42 as well. Well, you know, that was perfect. 42 minus 42 is 0. There is nothing left. And actually, that is our, well, not a remainder. Our answer is just 697. 4,100. 82 fantastic, delicious, crunchy crackers were sitting on a table, and you and five of your friends came over, that makes six of you, and each of you ate 697 crunchy crackers. Huh. I hope you have a glass of water to help wash that down. I'll see you again soon for some more Divided Bead Fray.